My next guest is a comedian that just wrapped her Create Your Own Reality Tour from Los Angeles. Joining us tonight, it's Renee Watt. Hi, hi you guys. This is fucking cool, this is cool. This is some like punk rock fantasy that I had as a child that I'm now existing in. Yeah, um, last night I had a dream that I killed the snake with my bare fucking hands. And we will get back. Thank you. Thank you. It's about time someone applauded me for my dreams. Thank you. <laughs> um, before I get to that, holy shit. I'm so, you, Ernesto, right? That's your name. My mind's been going a mile a minute about all the reasons why I'm in love with you. Okay? That's your girlfriend, right? I saw like a loving embrace, like a loving <laughs> caress. He was like, well, well, <laughs> well. I just had to fucking... Dude, you don't even know, man. You don't. Are we married? Yeah. Are we fucking married? I think creepy. so. I fucking think so. <laughs> it could get way creepier, you man. You guys want to have a threesome? Check uh, this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, totally. And you fucking look, you look like this motherfucker that's been haunting my dreams, who's an actual person, but I'm seeing you now because he rejected me and I'm seeing you now and I'm just like, well, this is how you live that out. This is how you make it happen. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get back to the snake dream, by the way, too. <laughs> I want to talk about meditation. You don't mind if I just like... Not at all. Cool. <laughs> You're like a bartender. Like, get me another beer. Couldn't do this get with another... show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, what happens then? I think it would just be his lap. All right, you want to come up here? You want to make this go from PG to R? You got, you want to make it? You, you want to make it? Uh, <laughs> well, it me and Ernesto are going to make it. Okay. <laughs> As usual, I'll just be recording it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we get into showbiz. This is how we're going to make our mark on the fucking 602. Yeah. <laughs> no one was expecting a porno to happen for no reason. <laughs> I was going to talk about the fact that I like to meditate. Yeah. I like to meditate. <clears throat> I've, I, okay, so I was basically, I'm 29 now, and I was with a dude for 10 years, and we broke up a year ago, and since then I've been like, yeah, like I'm gonna fucking find myself, but I also have to meditate to like balance it out, because I'm a fucking insane person, and um, so it's, you know, I try to like do my mindfulness and my deep breathing, um, but it does not help, because it just gets more insane with the fucking chatter that's happening. Because <laughs> I talk to my spirit guides. I'm a witch. That's important information to have, too, I guess. I don't know. I just like saying it. I'm a witch, and I meditate. Okay, so um, a psychic told me that, <laughs> that I was a consort for some emperor um, in, like, China or something. And so I was, like, meditating. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> It was him. <laughs> I was meditating and I was like, I'm gonna get real like spiritual with this shit. And I was like, hey, Emperor. Oh, she said I was like one of his favorite wives too. So it adds up. Anyway, I was like, hey, um, find like show yourself to me. Like I wanna just like I wanna reconnect with this like love from my past, this great love. And <laughs> the visual that came into my mind was like one of those fucking weird eel fish. Like, in my third eye, it was like, <laughs> was still in love. And now all I can think about is, like, finding this fucking fish. Like, I'm going to be in every goddamn fish store in every, city, <laughs> in every city in the continental United States until I find him. Until I find him. So then after that, I was like, you're losing it. You need to come back to a place of calm. You need to come back to a place of calm. You need to focus on your goals, and you need to take those little steps. Ryan, are you watching my time? You're supposed to be, okay, cool. So, <laughs> meditation for me is about like taking the smaller steps um, up into the bigger steps. And like one of my main goals is like, I wanna have a really great family one day, and that includes children. And I'm like meditating, and I'm like, okay, well like, you know, you're just gonna, you know, work on yourself in the meantime, and things will just be great later. And then David Bowie, who I basically worship, another thing that you reference because we're married. The, I'm actually predicting your future right now. I'm also a psychic. So. 
I was, um, I was like meditating and like getting quiet and then fucking David Bowie just like comes into my meditation. He was like, from the labyrinth, by the way. And he was like, you can forget about the baby. And I was like, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah, all right, well, I guess that's my time. We could, I could fucking go on. Oh yeah, the snake. I killed a snake in my dream last night. <laughs> it was crazy. It bit me, it bit me on the hill, on the heel. It also bit me in other places. The guy that is not you that was in my dream was there. <laughs> and um, I fucking took this snake off my heel and I like jammed my fucking fingers through his mouth and I like peeled. <laughs> you look mortified. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, this is awesome. I peeled, I like broke his jaw and I killed him and I like threw him on the floor and he like slithered, but like died. And I was in, I was in like my parents' house and I was like, to my brother-in-law, I was like, Ryan, get your baby out of here. Mom, call the exterminator and fucking get these rattlesnakes that have infested our house killed, but save the bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, I also like to play with animal corpses that are ethically obtained. <laughs> That's enough about me. I think it's time for an interview. All right, Renee Waters. That's enough about me. Let's talk about me some more on the couch.